everyone, it's Kathalia, and today I would like to talk about the word in Thai is Puan Rak. In English, it's translated to best friend. Now, I just recently did a Toastmasters speech about this, but this one is going to be converted to a lot of my best friends, not just my first one that I met in high school. So, there's a word in Thai that we use. It's a very special word. It's called katanyu. That word defined in English means gratitude. But if you define it even further, even further down to its core, and in the Thai culture, it really boils down to people who have shown you such grace and love, like unconditional love to the point where you would never know how or be able to repay them for all the love that they've given you. That is you. And that is what I feel for all of my best friends. My first best friend from high school was Oat. Her and her brother and her sister and her father have loved me with everything they have. And because of them, I know how to have unconditional love for others. Without them, I'm not sure if I would have learned that. I'm not sure if... I would be the kind, loving person that I am today that can forgive people the way that I do without the unconditional love that they showed me throughout the years because I didn't receive unconditional love from my parents and unfortunately, either of my parents. They always came with some sort of condition, which, you know, really horrible. You shouldn't have to, that shouldn't happen as a child. But then when I got older, much older, I met my friend Cindy. And <laughs> not only was she my friend, she was my training manager. She was, she was the person who, when I was in, when I was engaged, um, I found out that the person that I was engaged to was not as good of a person as I thought he was, and he started trying to hit me. I had never been in this situation before because I'm usually always the one saving my friends from those situations, so I, it was like I was in denial when it first happened, and I, it was just, I couldn't even couldn't comprehend it my brain just kind of like exploded and went into some sort of overload for several days where I just cried uncontrollably every time I saw his face and then I met Cindy Cindy helped me to flee from that situation and even though we didn't work at the place that we used to work before we continue to be friends and we continue to support each other through our lives and I owe her so much gratitude for everything that she's done for me and then funny my friend Andrew I've known him he's also since my 20s and even though at first I helped him, I think in return he saved me so many times. Even though I seem to like feel like I'm always like scolding him, he's always been my savior. When I broke up with my boyfriend, my first live-in boyfriend, because he decided that the only reason we should be get married, even after living with each other for like four or five years, that it's only for a green card. And when I got out of that situation, he took me in. He nurtured me. He he never, like, ever tried to, you know, do anything gross because he was just, like, being a good friend. 
until now he's got I don't know five six kids or something and we're still best friends if he needs me or I need him he's driven from California Los Angeles all the way to Washington State pick me up take me back to protect me he is such a good friend loving never asked for anything in return and then there's my friend Kay she's also like like an angel to me I know she thinks that I'm an angel to her too but you know she has blessed me in so many ways helped me through my issues with my mom especially living here in San Diego having to take care of my mom is really hard for me sometimes because I don't know she's never been diagnosed with a mental issue but she's got a lot of them and Kay unfortunately has also had to suffer the wrath of my mom and her kids many times and she gives my mom and her kids give my mom unconditional love no matter what. I appreciate her too. And then there's my friend Diane. Oh my gosh, she's also from Washington. She is also a godsend. Every single day we text each other and talk to each other about things going on, good or bad, you know. I was also in another bad relationship in Washington and she was always there for me. I could always drive to her house and she'd make me eggs, potatoes, sometimes spam. <laughs> I am from Hawaii. I love spam. And they just all, she just loved on me. Her husband at the time, he loved on me. I had so much unconditional love in my lifetime. I am so grateful for all of my friends, every single one of them. My friend Jocelyn, <laughs> we have moved many offices together. <laughs> we also trade with each other constantly. She is a blessing. She supports me so much. I. I am very loved. I hope that all of you understand that in this lifetime, even though you're independent and strong, how do you think you get there? You get there by all these great friends being there for you, being, being that, oh, hey, do you need help? Do you, you, it's not like they're going to help you every second of the day. It's just that like one moment, one second, one thing. Let me make a call for you. Let me just do this through that. Don't ever feel like you have so much pride. You can't ask for help from your best friends or from people. It's not that you're taking, they're taking pity on you. They're doing it out of unconditional love. Now, if they are taking pity on you, now that is something else. And that's a whole separate story to talk about. But I'm talking about your best friends, your core people, the people that you know will not stab you in the back or sleep with your boyfriend or things like that. I hope everybody finds those people for them out there. I am so fortunate and blessed to have found mine. And I'm sorry for the friends that I didn't name in this video because there are so many. I know how loved I am. And I am so blessed to have so many awesome, great, wonderful friends. I want to thank you all for being in my life. You don't know how much you mean to me. I could never express enough gratitude for each and every one of you. Love you. Talk to you later. See you again, guys. Bye.